Hey, interwebs, it's Jackie K, and today I'm going to try Witch and Hero. I'll be honest, I forgot what the game was I was playing. I just knew I had a lot of demos sitting on my 3DS. I just got done recording a 3DS demo. And I wanted to make use of the fact that I took the time to set up my recording equipment. But honestly, this game is off to a great start. Already, <laughs> just from the intro. Already catches my ears a lot better than Hey Pikmin did, which is a little sad. <laughs> it's very sad, actually. Long ago, there was a bad monster called Medusa. I mean, it's a bad thing. One day, a cheap sent a witch and a hero to end her evil doings. Oh, I wish I could go back. I just realized that picture said. You kill her, we get you money. Which makes the next line of their quest for justice in quotes <laughs> even more amazing. Oh, and they lost. The witch was turned to stone and the hero was beat to a pulp. The hero barely escaped taking the stone witch with him. Oh. So... <laughs> <laughs> this is a very interesting start. We are in an RPG and we've lost. Shoot, I real I went by the tutorial really fast, so I don't even know how I'm supposed to attack enemies. Do I tap the screen? Please just Okay, I'm just taking damage. That's not working. Ugh, I don't get what I was doing wrong. I'm pressing all of the but I'm pressing all the face buttons. Shoulder buttons are not an option because Okay. So I just run into them. But that's not really working because I'm losing health. I'm gonna die. I can't just keep running into the enemies. But I mean, I was able to get back to life, so maybe this is what I'm supposed to do? It really doesn't feel like what I'm supposed to do, though. There has to be a button that I'm not pressing. Because I... Sorry, I'm at a bit of a loss because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But I know I'm not doing things right. This is why you read, kids. I mean, I'm pressing Y, I'm... X makes me toggle between the two. I'm pressing A and I'm pressing B. And... Nothing's been happening. Yes. All the way at level 4, which is nice. To title, battle start. D shop. Ah! I bet if I buy this. No, I already had a sword. I'll get his shield too, fine. Not enough money for the boots, the shoes. Maybe now I can actually attack things without dying. One can only hope and pray. Land more damage from behind. So maybe I was doing it right. So I'm pressing Y, I'm pressing B, pressing A. And X just makes me toggle between the two. I don't see any way to actually attack. Well, that shield help, cause... I'm dying less. But I feel like I'm not doing this right. I should... I have a sword. I should be actually using it. I shouldn't just be running into things and hoping that they die before I die trying to kill them. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. 
What I do know is that the witch is about to get hit. <sighs> I gotta die now so I can get back to life before them um, swarm the witch, resulting in me dying even more. Maybe I should just let her take a hit. No, because they don't die when they hit her. Whoop. Please have a stamina potion? Nope. Well, I better get myself killed now. There has to be a way to actually use my sword and not just bump into things. Did I pause the game? I'll be honest, I thought the game froze for a moment. And I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't get to kill all the enemies. And I still don't know if I'm doing this right. Hold on a sec, let me go back to the title screen. See if I can get the controls to pop up again. Doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. Well, I'm gonna just... Probably, I'm assuming I can't do anything with the fireball or the whirlwind until the witch inevitably gets turned back to normal. Uh, but it's still tempting to just buy one of them anyway, just to see. Maybe I'll, maybe it's the key to bringing her back to life. Okay, crossing my fingers. That I'm doing the right thing, because it really looks like I'm just doing the worst possible job I possibly can. Hey, I'm doing more damage than them without them killing me. So the sword upgrades must be helping. I gotta be doing something right to get to level 3. Right? There just doesn't seem to be a way to restore my health or get killed before at the right times. I mean, there's the stamina potions which I'm graceful for, but it definitely feels like I'm doing something wrong, because it just seems like I could lose all my health at the worst possible time and not be able to do anything to hold back the swarm of enemies. Speaking of holding it back, I think that exact situation might be coming up because there was a giant pumpkin coming my way and I'm about to die at the worst possible time! Tapping buttons and hoping it works. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Please don't die, Mrs. Witch. Hold still, Mr. Pumpkin. I got a lot of other stuff to kill and help to recover. I was hoping to delay your death until I get my money, but that doesn't appear like it's going to be the case. That was a close one. If there's a button I'm supposed to press to be able to make progress, then I need to be aware of what this button freaking is now. They made their way to the Great Witch's Forest. The witch casts a spell, restoring the witch back to normal. Now they live happily ever after. Finn, or so they hope. The witch turned back to stone again. Even with the great witch couldn't dispel Medusa's curse. They had to defeat Medusa after all. So we have to find the holy sore. How we got the key to restoring the witches to not be stone for a little while. So I'm guessing that's the cue for when we can actually use the witch's magic now, sometimes in battles. I'm g which means I wasn't too far off with buying that fireball spell. And it also means it's probably a good time to get the whirlwind spell. Increase my sword, because that's the only way I know to make constantly running into things not kill me. By constantly upgrading that and the shield. 
and I'm just going to cross my fingers that I'm doing the right thing. Because it sure as heck does not feel like it. Hint, collect spilled blood, give it to the witch. Which will resurrect. Oh god, I have to use the shoulder buttons. That's not good. FYI, my shoulder buttons don't work on my 3DS. As the infamous moment of Chippy Robo Siplash may have made apparent. Wait, I just realized. This game is rated E, isn't it? They got away with blood in an E rated game. Oh, don't, 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 no. Nope. Oh no, the witch is gonna die. The witch is gonna die. There's too many crowds in the way, and the witch is gonna die. Just go for it, because I can't rotate the character at all. Maybe it was a good idea I got the world win. Which is exactly why I should undo, keep it at world win at all times. Great, the witch is about to die, and I can hear the boss music. This is not good. And I am dead, which means I can't keep this crowd from hitting the witch, and the witch broke into a bunch of pieces, and this game over. <laughs> I gotta admit, though, this is a fun game. It'd be even funner if my shoulder buttons worked. You know, in fact, give me a moment and I'll see what I can do to remedy this. So. Like how we were able to free the witch from Medusa's spell ever so temporarily. I was able to get the shoulder buttons for my 3DS to work ever so temporarily. Do I gotta rebuy items because I got game over? No, but I can apply the money that I got. You know, screw it. My shoes are pretty much the only thing not properly at level. I haven't really had a need for speed, but... I can assume that it only helps. Especially when I'm getting overwhelmed in power. I'm just gonna hope and pray that by the time that I'm able to revive the witch, my shoulder buttons will still work. Give me that good and goldness. I think the proper thing that you're supposed to say is golden goodness, but screw it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hey, it sort of worked. Yay, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And there's nothing I can do to save the witch. Faster, faster, murder all the things, faster. Oh wait, the witch is back to normal, which means I have to ram into things before the witch completely dies. It's a shame I can't really save the Sam up potion. Speaking of which, guess who's gonna die? Guess who's gonna die? I think that someone is me. <laughs> At least he's. Yeah, I definitely see how they cut the experience and gold you earn from getting a game over, which I totally get. But I appreciate they still get something, cause otherwise I might be stuck at this part of the game forever. Okay, what did I do wrong from last time, anyways? Maybe not. Maybe the fact I didn't pick up that stamina potion right away. Ugh. Maybe I need to attack more things from the back, even if it means my fear of letting the witch get 
maimed a little. I don't know what I'm doing wrong quite yet, but I'll keep trying until I figure it out. I do like how the fireball and the whirlwind work differently. One gives you, like, I assume it's more powerful and gives you range, while the other, like, acts more like damage control. Because where's a button I can match to actually stop the witch from dying by getting myself back up quicker? Speaking of the fact that I like how one is more like damage control. Oh, that was way too close. But can the witch not die when she's normal? I think we're gonna find out because there's no way I'm getting back up before she gets hit one more time. Maybe, but we'll never know for sure. Ugh. I might have to wrap it up here because it doesn't feel like I've been going too long, but it'll get repetitive just to do the same thing over and over. I don't keep on increasing whirlwind because with my luck with the controls of the game, that'll be my best hope to actually get through this level because fireball would be great if I actually could get my buttons to work long enough to aim it. But I'm too focused on just trying to stay alive to really take the time to invest into fixing it. So I'm going to give this stage one more go. And unless something amazing happens that makes that really gives my confidence to the point of like, yeah, I'm definitely going to win this. This is going to be my last run. Assuming all of those situations don't come into fruition. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Stay away from my witchy boo! I didn't even think to try it, but does giving blood while she's not dead or not turned to stone, does that keep her from... does that allow her to stay? that way, or do I just hold on to it until she turns back to normal, because it would really be appreciated if I could keep the whole witch not turn to stone thing going long enough for me to clear the room of all the things trying to kill us. Yeah, I'm just, this is probably going to be a short video still, but I'm just going to call it quits here. Thank you all for checking out this Jack and Kate tries. I think I'm actually going to play this game in my own time on a non-recording 3DS system that has working shoulder buttons. And it's going to be great! I'm going to get past stage 4, and sadly you guys won't be able to see, but... Yeah, I forget how much this game is, but I know you can get it off the 3DS eShop. And I would recommend picking it up, especially since it seems like it will be a cheap little fun game. That's all I got to say on it though. Be sure to check out my channel for more stuff, and I hope to see you all then. Take care.